Hey guys, it's Footless Moon Badger here, and as you may know from the title of this video, I'm going to be talking about how I want The Walking Dead to end pre-time skip in Season 8. Now let's get right into the video. After the climactic battle between the United Communities and the Saviors come to an end and Rick spares Negan, I would have Rick and Morgan have one last conversation about why Rick chose to spare Negan instead of killing him like he said he would. Morgan would obviously object to this act and because of that, he will leave the group. Rick, Carol, and Ezekiel would try to change his mind and make him stay with them, but it would be of no use because his true mission in life is to cleanse the world of every threat that he meets. They would say their goodbyes as the sun set in the background. Rick states to Morgan, You've got one battery. I'll turn mine on a few minutes every day at dawn. You get up there, and that's how you find me. As he hands Morgan the radio, Morgan says, You think ahead, Rick. And then Rick says, You can't afford not to, especially now. The two then shake hands one last time as Morgan walks off into the sunset. Rick says, Thank you for everything that he's done for them, and specifically Rick. Morgan stops in his tracks and says, No. Thank you, Rick. And then, he starts walking again, and vanishes into the distance. Now with all of the plot lines complete, a voiceover starts playing through scenes of the characters as they settle down and start rebuilding. The voiceover will be performed by Morgan Jones, over the radio. I'm not sure what's right anymore. I saw what they did, what they did to our friends, to our family. I changed. I reverted back to the way I was back in King County because of you, because of them. I had to in order to keep everyone there alive, but that wasn't enough. I lost too much. We all did. I'm scared that things will get worse than they ever have, and I'm even more terrified as to how I'd react. That's why I can't stay. You will rebuild this broken family. You will come back from this. I know you can, and I will too somewhere else. I have to clear, and when I do, I'll be back, and I'll help rebuild things and make it like it was. All life is precious. This is Morgan Jones, signing off. Throughout this voiceover, we'll see the camera panning from the memory wall, panning from each person's name toward a happy sort of flashback of them before Negan and the war began. It would then show close-ups of all of the people that have survived the two-year war that they have been fighting ever since Atlanta. It would end with Rick and everyone at the picnic table laughing and eating, just like in Rick's version of the future that we saw. Now, it's debatable what the actual voiceover could be and who could be speaking, but I'm certain that it'll end like this to some degree. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Man, I'm damn excited for this finale. This has been Fullest Moon Badger, signing out.